Here's our tale of the tape for this, our second semifinal of our lightweight contender tournament. Stoyan Koplovinsky fighting out of Bulgaria, is taller and has a three and a half reach edge. With professional experience, it's Michael Yerk that has 19 fights to the eight fights of Koplovinsky. Uh, Michael Yerk with a lot of power, you see that 64% KO ratio. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he last fought in Paris at Glory 28 and brings with him a professional record of 11 wins with eight losses. Seven of those 11 wins have come by way of knockout. He stands five feet nine and one half inches, 1.77 meters, and he weighed in at 152 and one half pounds, 69.2 kilos. He's here tonight in Rotterdam, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Please welcome Michael Yer. His opponent, fighting out of the white corner, world amateur Muay Thai champion as a professional, his record stands in seven wins with just one loss. Three of those wins coming by knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he went in at fight time at an even 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Stoyan, the sniper, Koprivlenski. Once again, the third man inside the glory ropes. Your referee is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Check yourself at all times, obey my commands. Any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Push back. Stoyan Koplovinsky, known as the Sniper, taking on Michael Yerk out of Brazil. He's wearing the white gloves. Koplovinsky in the black. How do these two men's styles match up, Joe? Well, you're going to see Michael Yerk that really relies on pressure and combination fighting. Where Stoyan, uh, he's going to use a little bit more of his length and power kicks on the outside. And watch him change levels with his striking. Very impressive. Nice body kick there from Koplovinsky. Koplovinsky told us he's never been in a tournament as a pro, but feels that this is a huge opportunity for him. He's looking forward to the challenge and thinks he should be the favorite in this tournament, although a lot of people said it was Tijani Bestani. Well, yeah, Stoyan has a very good amateur record, which made him very popular in Bulgaria. But he's, he's down to fight anybody. Very talented. As for Yurk, says he spends 70% of his time in Brazil, the other 30% in Holland, and he landed a left hook. Both guys are bringing some good combinations. I like the way Michael Yurk's hitting the body. Nice head kick from Koprovinsky. He did one with the left leg and then with the right. And those are quick looking kicks, too. Yeah, very fast. Kopravlenski has Big Mike in the corner, so very experienced corners on both sides. Big Mike's asking Stoyan to not wait so long. Kopravlenski loving that high kick. Yeah, those are off the guard of York. Again upstairs. Michael Yer keeps his arms really tight, so a body kick is a good strategy, but remember, those aren't scoring. He's got to put some combinations, change levels with the kicks, head kicks, mixed with some punching. a good combination from Yurk. And back to the kicks goes Koplovinsky, another body kick. Starting to see some redness now on the frame of Yurk. Yurk slipping, trying to throw a low kick. We were watching some fighters warm up earlier, and this canvas did look a little slick. Yeah, once you get fresh canvas like this, it's always a little slippery. Especially both guys. And there's the high cool. kick again, and he may be out cold. What a shot from Stoyan Koplovinsky. 
Yeah, he kept going to the body and then he finally mixed in the head kick. That's what I talked about earlier about changing levels. Kovlovinsky had thrown several high kicks all round long and then went away for a little while, came back to it, and boom. Face first with the Brazilian. And Kovlovinsky not even smiling. Hey, he's got still got work to do. He's got Bestati coming up in about a half hour. Yeah, and, he, and he's on the ropes cheering already. He needs to keep his emotions in check. Here's a look at that. Oh, wow. right on, beautifully timed right over the glove. Nice close range high kick too. Nice placement. There is no standing up from this shot. Yeah, and that was oh. in punch range that he got that kick so high, and that's what makes that kick so impressive, that close range high kick. Very few people can get their kick that high from that close of range. Koplovinsky now has eight wins, four of them by knockout, and I'm assuming none of them have looked more impressive than that one. The sniper advances to the final, will make it official when we return to Rotterdam. We welcome you back to Rotterdam, and you miss maybe the knockout of the night if you're just joining us. There it is, Stoyan Koplovinsky. Yeah, that close range high kick was beautifully timed off of the jab of Yerk, and Yerk started off really well with some good combination work, but Fian Stoyan, uh, finally Stoyan was hitting the body and then mixed in that beautifully timed high kick. Really amazing stuff. Great flexibility, quickness, power, and the right leg of the sniper. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends just 13 seconds shy of the bell in that first round with an official time of 2 minutes 47 seconds and ends by knockout. For your winner, now advancing to the tournament final, Stoyan Koprevalensky. Well, Joe, the question now is, how will he do against Tajani Bezdadi later here tonight? Well, it's going to be a great matchup. Both very tall, rangy fighters. He did have an easier fight. Uh, maybe that will play an advantage for him, but we're going to have to wait and see. Well, he certainly made it look easy with that type of finish. And maybe he'll get the knockout bonus, which Glory gives to the best knockout of the night. And that's the matchup we'll see later tonight. Best